BJP leader Yashwant Sinha has lashed out at uh, former government official R.P. Singh. He said R.P. Singh's allegations are baseless. Why he did not raise this issue earlier, his timing is also suspect. That's Yashwant Sinha jumping in defense of the BJP and Murli Manohar Joshi, PAC chief, whose name has been taken by R.P. Singh. R.P. Singh has suggested that P, uh, PAC chief uh, was meeting some CAG officials. Let's listen to what Yashwant Sinha had to say. जब एक जिम्मेदार पदाधिकारी रिटायर होने के बाद ये कहता है कि मुझसे जबरदस्ती दस्तखत कराया गया मैं उस लॉस के आंकड़े से सहमत नहीं था तो प्रश्न ये उठता है कि वो उस समय दबाव में काम कर रहा था कि आज किसी दबाव में काम कर रहा है all right, uh, let me quickly go back again to our uh, senior editor, Javed Ansari, who is joining us from outside parliament. A lot of reactions now coming in, Javed. And it, it appears that the BJP is now suggesting that is, it's a clear case of a hit job. It's a government ploy to discredit an institution, to discredit CAG. Yes, Ruchika, two things extremely significant. One, the revelations, two, the timing. And let me ask Nija that. Nija, today, RPN Singh has dropped a bombshell. Uh, you've you've read and heard of those revelations. What do you make of what he has said, and the timing, and the likely impact that this is going to have on this 2G issue, as well as this government versus BJP battle? See, in the last two hours, this issue of RP Singh has already overtaken the stalemate on FDI. So somehow the timing of it is curious, interesting, and comes uh, as a handle for the uh, ruling party. Uh, to beat the government, government with and also to continue to question the presumptive loss theory of the CAG. Though I feel, you know, they'll have to contend with the upright image of Mr. Vinod Rai. Uh, but they have been, you know, the, uh, the, the 2G auction which didn't mop up the kind of money that they had expected. Uh, gave them again a hand handle to say, see, we told you so. But surely Murli Manohar Joshi has certain uncomfortable questions to answer, doesn't he? Well, that's right. And uh, the, if they are trying to say that CAG uh, officials went to his house, though he's denied all this and rebutted these charges. But yes, it will raise a lot of questions. But we must also not forget the Supreme Court took note of all this. It sent ministers and top honchos and uh, uh, officials to jail surely the supreme court had also applied its mind it wasn't a non-application of mind so while at the moment this controversy will certainly raise new doubts and uh, it is part of uh, it comes in very handy as the government's uh, counter offensive where they want to neutralize the issue of uh, corruption, the Gatkari affair again yeah, came in handy. The, the point is that this is likely to have more political value than any uh, bearing correct. on the outcome I think of the you case. I that well, that it is a political handle, particularly now that the Congress has decided to fight back and take a counter offensive, and it, this, is a, this comes in a very convenient nugget in that uh, strategy. So we can certainly see this now, RP Singh. Uh, and presumptive loss all and Murli Manor Joshi, these will also dominate uh, the debate in the coming days. So it's clear, Ruchika, that uh, R.P. Singh's bombshell is not is going to reverberate in Parliament in the days to come, uh, in Parliament as well as outside, because the the Congress will use this as to butter us its argument that all uh, all that has been saying against the CAG that you know he overreached, and that now they will say that he even did it under. You know, at the at the prodding of Murli Manohar Joshi. 